facing a myriad of problems like industrialization and a lack of proper funding and knowledge, the Philippine farming sector remains to be a big problem, a sad reality for the once leading agricultural country in Asia. Born and raised in an agricultural community, 24-year-old Jason Tan has witnessed and experienced firsthand the plight of Filipino farmers. Due to poverty, Jason's parents had to send him and his siblings to live with their relatives when they were children as their measly income from farming wasn't enough to raise a family. <laughs> Tapos siguro kami yung pinoproblema niya kasi anim kami, walang nagano sa amin, walang nagbabantay. Kasi kaya pinamigay niya kami sa mga tito namin. Growing up, Jason had to work doubly hard just to get through life one day at a time. Earning 500 pesos a month as an errand boy for a local resort in Katbalogan City, Samar. However, farming and agriculture runs too deep in his bloodline. Mas maganda pa rin po yung farming eh. Kasi pwede mo naman po yung negosyo eh. Tapos wala ka pang boss. Sarili mo naman yung lopay. Wala ka nang babayaran. Jason's father left him and his siblings a farmland in Katbalogan City as inheritance. He knows that selling the land would be a more practical move given the decline of the agriculture sector in the country. But Jason believes that with the right disposition and ambition, farming can be their ticket out of poverty. Hindi po namin ibinta yung lupa namin. Kahit mamatay pa po kami, hindi namin ibinta yan. Kasi nga po yung lupa namin po mami, ito ko pong tamnan. Kasi yun na lang po yung pag-asa namin, yung lupa namin. Yun na lang po yung mapukunan namin ng pagkakakitaan. Pag magsikap po kami, kaya namin yan. Based from the latest study of the Philippine Statistics Authority in 2015, farmers along with fishermen remain the poorest sector in the country, thus disenchanting a lot of youth from pursuing a career in agriculture. Filipino farmers are also growing old with an average age of 57 to 59 years old. As an agriculture country, uh, kailangan talaga merong next generation of farmers. That is why um, state colleges and universities go into agriculture para merong magpapatuloy sa mga uh, gawain natin. Seeing the need to support agricultural growth, especially for an agrarian community like Katbalogan City Samar, the oldest international bank in the Philippines in partnership with a PBSP or Philippine Business for Social Progress, DepEd, and Katbalogan City Government launched the Livelihood and Education for Agri Aquaculture Development Program or SCB LEAD. In terms of their livelihood activities, they're really focused on fishing and uh, agriculture. But a lot of the parents wouldn't want to encourage their students to take up farming because they feel that there's, there's really no money in, in farming and uh, it's not the future that they want for their kids. But we want to change that mindset. If you look at the other neighboring ASEAN countries, they don't look at farming uh, in a negative way, but they look at farming as a sustainable livelihood also for their people. The SCB LEAD program aims to support the development of CCAIS or Katbalogan City Agro Industrial School into a center of excellence in farming and fishery in the eastern Visayas region. The end-to-end -end approach for this program is very comprehensive. We are strengthening the curriculum of the school and uh, we are also focusing on developing their uh, operations manual. Um, we're also looking into providing the teachers skills training and we're giving also exposures and immersion programs so that successful farming can be aspirational for these students. The program also provides for uh, the donation of farm tools and audiovisual equipment and that also includes recreation facilities. Na itong facility, hindi po natin pangarap na magproduce ng mga farmers na mga Farmers na lang the entire life nila. Gusto natin dito na makaproduce tayo ng mga bata na 
pag nag-farming sila, hindi sila yung mga traditional farmers. Ang tawag ko nga, this will be the home of agri-entrepreneurs. Through the SCB LEAD program, education becomes a vehicle to address poverty towards sustainable development by providing a holistic approach. We try to uh, ensure that our sustainable programs and our initiatives really have a positive impact on the community and it's really not just a one-off um, initiative or project for us. We do want to um, ensure that we make a contribution in terms of developing life skills. Jason has been fortunate to be one of SCB's lead scholars taking up the agricultural track. And with the knowledge and training he receives from the LEAD program, Jason is confident that one day he'll be able to apply all the lessons he has learned in school. To not only lead a productive and sustainable life as a farmer, but to help revitalize the waning agriculture sector as well. I encourage pa ako ng kaibigan ko na mag-aaral doon. Sabi ko mag-aaral na ako. Gusto ko pong mag-aaral kasi sabi magkakapatid wala na pong nakatapos. Nung nalaman ko yung paralan na libre, siyempre masaya ako kasi makakapagtapos na po ako ng ano, high school. Katapos, pag nakatapos pa ako yung plano ko po, magtatrabaho ako. Pag nakaipon na ako, tutulungan ko na po yung kapatid ko dito. Balogan City Samar is located along a coastal area and an enormous amount of mountainous farmlands. But the city still relies heavily on imported agricultural goods from nearby provinces and cities. Because yeah, then when they produce their palay, they don't even have fertilizer, pesticides. So, kasi wala nga silang pang gasto sa agricultural inputs. So, tendency, maliit yung production ng, ng Katbalogan City in terms of rice, vegetables. Seeing the untapped potential of existing farmlands in Katbalogan City, as well as the recurring issue of food security, the oldest international bank in the Philippines partnered with the local city government, the Philippine Business for Social Progress and Department of Education, to come up with a program that will not only maximize productivity of agricultural products, but encourage the youth as well to take agriculture as a technical vocational learning track, proving it is a viable profession and livelihood option. We need to address the long-term food security of Katbalogan City, and we would like to address this by um, encouraging the youth and the young learners to become successful farmers. 20-year-old Maria Princess Pacampara had to stop her studies due to the financial constraints of her family. Belonging to a family of fisher folk, her father's income simply isn't enough to finance her dream of getting a higher education. Unable to sit idly while her parents worked tirelessly to make ends meet, Princess opted to leave Katbalogan City for a time to work as a house help in Manila. Kasi kulang po sa budget para makapagpatuloy sa pag-aaral. Aside from fishery, her family also used to grow crops at a farmland near their home, which they sold for additional income. However, due to the rapid urbanization and industrialization of the city, the land was eventually bought by a private corporation, thus adding more woes to their already crippling financial situation. Even with life's hardships, Princess never lost hope and faith, drawing strength from her mother and her own drive to one day get her family out of their predicament. Si mama palag kami pong nag Sinasabi niya na, I don't think, konting atiis-tiis lang kasi mahirap talaga yung buhay ngayon. Ano na lang, tiyaga-tiyaga. Nakikita ko po yung anak ko na gustong-gustong mag-aaral tapos hindi po makapasok. Ano. Ginagawa naman po namin ng paraan. Pero... Siya na rin po nung nag-resisyon na. Tutulong na. Tutulong na muna. 
Little did Princess know that a call from her mother would eventually change the course of her life. Ako kasi may bago daw na school na magbubukas, ito din sa Katbalogan, tapos ano daw, free daw lahat yun, yung sa'yo na lang mag-aral ng mabuti. Sabi ko, di ba gustong gusto mo mag-aral? Hindi naman po pag sinabi yung agriculture eh, magsasaka ka, magsasaka ka na lang din. Yun, inano ko po sa kanya, sabi niya, sige po ma, try ko, kahit pa paano ay makapasok po ako. Despite the loss of a steady paycheck, Princess opted to return once again to Katbalogan City to pursue a track in agricultural crafts production at the CCAIS. Gusto ko mag mag ano mag magpatuloy dito sa pag ano pag farming lalo na magkaroon ng sariling sarili kong sarili kong negosyo, sariling lupa, sariling sakahan po para nung sa ganun makaano ako ng maraming maraming mga produkto para din sa pangailangan ng hindi lang po sa amin dito sa through the SCB LEAD, our Livelihood and Education for Agri-Aquaculture Development Program, senior high students of Katbalogan City Agro Industrial School, or CCAIS, are trained and equipped with relevant skills and know-how that will help them become self-sustaining and entrepreneurial farmers. It's about time na na-encourage natin yung mga anak ng farmers ay maging farmer pero mas magaling na farmer, mas mas maraming alam at mal at mamamaximize nila yung land na kanilang pinagtatamnan. Strategically located on agriculture land, the CCAIS campus, which used to be an abandoned jailhouse, is now refurnished to be an ideal learning environment for students who want to learn and experience farming firsthand. Kinonvert natin siya to school na mala at least, kwan siya eh, um, strategic yung location niya kasi nasa farm na talaga siya. Students who are taking agri-fishery track at the CCAIS are offered scholarship grants with a privilege to stay at the dormitory with free board and lodging and school supplies. All currently enrolled student scholars came from the 57 barangays of Katbalogan. Now, in fact, uh, Mayor Steph mandated each barangay to have two scholars to, to send here in CKS to get an agricultural TVL. Through the SCB LEAD program, future farmers now have access to new technologies to help them boost production and increase income, as well as develop students to become farm entrepreneurs and become active contributors to the long-term agricultural growth of the province. Impact is for the long term and um, for us it's, it's not about giving um, funds or investments one-off but really being able to make that impact, work on improving skills of, of the young people, um, helping in their education.